Hey class, welcome back to my channel. Do we really even need an introduction at this point? Because this is literally the third part of this series and I am sure half of you have subscribed just for this part. And I'm so sorry for the delay because I have my exams going on right now and I'm filming it in the middle of that. And if you're new here, I see you. Hi, I'm Pujita. I'm currently a fourth year math student. And on this channel, I create content on productivity, lifestyle, med school, and travel vlogs. So if that is something you're interested in, make sure that you subscribe. So everyone, please sit down and open your Noteful app because in this video, I'm going to show you exactly six tips so that you can make your notes more engaging. Your notes so good that you can sell them and get some cash. I don't know, maybe. I need to go study for my exams, so let's finish this real quick, okay? Okay, where's my tab? And where's yours? Get it fast, open it, and follow along. Tip number one, how to add stickers. Story time before I tell you this tip. So there was once upon a time, I commented on uh, influencer's reel asking her, how did you add these stickers to your good notes? And guess what? <laughs> I never got a reply. So, class, you're lucky you have me. And since Noteful is exclusively an iOS app, we are more lucky. So open your Noteful. Open split screen. Open photos. This is a picture I saved from Pinterest. And I'll be making stickers out of this. Here, I'm long pressing on the heart. Hold and drag it to Noteful. Now select save. It directly opens the sticker folder. You can make a new collection and add it to it or you can add it to an already existing collection. And next time you want to use it, you can find it in stickers. And by the way, you may not be able to do this with every picture that you get. So what do you got to do at that time? So to know that you got to stay till the end of this video. Ha, ah, you thought you were going to leave. No, sit your ass down and listen to me. Let's go to tip number two. Tip number two, how to add PDFs and books. The important point here is that you need to have your PDF for the book in your files folder. Now let's go to files. Open your PDF or book. Click on share. More. Noteful. Create a new notebook, name it, location, I'm going to choose textbooks and now you can open it and annotate it as you wish. Remember how I told you a point just two months back? I'm sure you don't but it's time to learn that now. Tip number three, how to convert images to stickers. For this, you should have watched the part 2 of my series. If you have any doubts, you can go and refer it later. Let's quickly add an image. Now I want to add this grandpa with Parkinson's, but I can't do the drag and drop method here. So I'll just crop around him using the freehand option. Now click on the image and do the same steps to save it to stickers as earlier. That's all. Tip number 4. How to change style and resize with lasso tool. Say I write something and I don't like the color of it or its size or where it is positioned. So we can use the lasso tool and change all of that. And I'm going to show you exactly how to do that right now. So select the text with the lasso tool. You have two options, resize and style. Resize to make it small or big and style to change either the color, the stroke size or even the pen size. Just saying, you can save even this as a sticker if you wanted to by following the same steps. Tip number 5. How to make your own template and add it to Noteful. Let's say you have the same format for all of your notes. For example, in medicine, we have some same fields like the name of the disease, etiology, pathogenesis, investigations, and management. So for this, you can make your own template and save it to Noteful so that you can use it later. To do that, click on the three dots options share format it to image and again share and save to files 
and to learn how to save your templates from files, you have to watch my part 2. Tip number 6. How to save notebooks to PDF. And finally class, in the same place, you would have seen the PDF option. So you will literally save your notes as PDF and do whatever you want with it. Like share it with your friends or sell it. So these are the six tips guys and since I had no one to teach me these and I learned them by myself, I did not want to gatekeep them. So here we are. I hope you learned something in this class and I hope to see you guys in my next class so that we can learn some more tips. I know I'm tired of it too but probably it's gonna be the last part. Probably. So don't forget to subscribe if you haven't and like and comment what you want to learn next or if you have any doubts, I will definitely clear them. Okay. Time to go and study. Bye guys. And I love you.